Now, we are going to learn what we need to learn today. Formula. Alright? Now, let's go to the question itself and see how easy it is. Can you underline evaluate? Evaluate means calculate with Uh, this is the singular form. Now, unknown means I want to know x equals to what? y equals to what? That means uh, I'm telling you uh, later on, you are going to see the unknown like an uh, uh, alphabet a variable equals to a number. Evaluate means you calculate with your calculator. So this one uh, will not go wrong. Why students get wrong? Because they are arrogant. Because they always use mental sum. And some of the mental sum with the minus set always double you. Okay, let me explain. Now, so for example, I have this formula here. Is it familiar? What is this? Area of triangle. What is this? Density. Learn before? Did you learn in primary school? You learn during science. Alright, let's try. Uh. So, let's try the example. Now, uh, the formula to find distance is D equals to ST. So, this is the formula. Right? Then, you must know that this one means the speed and time respectively. Right? So, some of you are talking about this triangle. But I'm not going to talk about this. Today, we're not going to learn this. I'm just going to learn how to evaluate the formula. So can you write down A? D equals to S times T. Everyone write. Return. Some already done. Very good. Now, what do you write next? Can you write down? When... Okay, I'm teaching you proper presentation, comma, then what I want you to do, I want you to, can you write down a, the instruction, replace, Replace the unknown with number. Can you tell me the 20 will go where? The 20 will go in where? 20 will go in D, S or T? S, right? So, you, you literally imagine I <coughs> put the number into S. T is equal to 3. Where do I put the T 3? Into T, right? So, literally, I take 3 and I put inside. So, what do you write? D equals to what? 20 times 3 equals to 60. Is this easy? Is this easy? So this is the topic for today. With this, I can stop the video and can, you can complete the whole worksheet. Do you believe? Can, you, can I pause the video? You try B now. Hey, I want, I want, I want, okay. Uh, I want this to be on your paper. Huh? Right. Uh, okay. And Andres will, Andres will tell us, but later on, I want everyone to make sure this box inside the thing you got right. Andres, Andres, this is the formula. Andres. Andres. This is the formula. Andres, I am asking you, D is 100. So 100 will go in D, S, or T. Huh? D. So you write down 100. So this is 100. Okay. Andres, 
S is what? Don't know. So if you don't know S, you will write down S. Next one. T is what? Fourth. Right. Can everyone look out on the screen? Last one to look up is... Abhishek, look here. Every single one of you must have this on your paper. Let me explain. Some of you will write down 100 divided by 4. Am I correct? Straight away, 25. But I tell you, many times you will do some careless mistake. You will write down 100 times 4 equals 400. Why? You see the two numbers, you don't know what to do, right? You don't know what to do, right? So either you plus them, you minus them, you times them, or you divide them. One of them is correct. Therefore, if the final answer is wrong, this itself in exam is one mark. By doing nothing, uh, no calculator, no nothing. Just writing this down in exam is one mark. Sit properly. So, everyone must have this on the crash paper. Understand? Next one. Then, Andreas will say, I know, I know, divide by 4. Is this correct? Do you know this is the top mistake that we always see in students? Then when we ask them, they will tell me what? Teacher, I stress. I stress during exam. Teacher, my, my mind are blank out, blank out. Teacher, the clock ticking, ticking, I very stressed. So uh, I take 4 divided by 100. Then after exam, when I ask them again, Teacher, I know, I know, it's 100 divided by 4. So, please remember to write the statement and the answer is 100 divided by 4, answer is 25. Right. I got, uh, everyone look up. Last one to look up is... Is... Madia, look up. Now... Can you write down, do till page 11 by two days later, 17. Can you write down, do till page 11. So today homework is this one, okay? Then I will stop here, I will continue with the next one, because I want to finish this part, alright? Huh? How to do example 2. Right, let's zoom in to example two. Who not sure? Okay, okay, okay. we go through. Uh. Start. First, write down the formula. Can you write down? V square equals to U square plus 2GX. Now, you notice this topic. Don't need you to understand what the formula is talking about. Don't need. I can draw star and triangle and squares here. It's okay. You just need to know how to put back the things. Now, what do you write next? Can you write down when? Now, I want you to have the habit to write down what are you doing. Reason, very simple. During exam, you have time to check your work. So when you write down, you are able to trace your working. Students who don't write working, usually after exam, they will close the paper, they will draw cartoon on the paper. So nothing to check. Don't know how to check. Everything inside is all one word, one number. And they don't tend to do well. Now continue. Madia, 25 is V. Madia, do I put 25 in V, U, G or S? V. So can everyone see that you have this on your paper? Must have a bracket. Because sometimes it's a negative, the negative will trick and harm you. Next, 12. Madhya, 12 do I put into V, U, G or S? U. So, you will write down 12 squared plus. At this juncture, who is confused? I don't know how I get this. Must confess. 
so that I can describe in your native language. Oh, uh, confused. Let me try English again. Huh? So, so I'm, I'm, Sandra, I'm telling you this is the equation. Now, you have to ask because you're you helping your two friends who are not here. So, Sandra, this is my equation. Take the scissors, uh, cut the 25, uh, cut. And either put here, put here, put here, or put here. Replace. So, do you agree 25 go where? V. So, I have like that. Can follow? U square. Do you, do you know the number of U? Yes. What? 12. So, 12 square. Can follow? What do you write next? Plus what? Plus what? Stop, Jamie. Plus what? 2. Very good. Plus 2. Bracket. Bracket. In, do, in these two bracket, 1 you know. 1 you don't know. Do you know G? What is the number of G? 10. Now you understand what I mean? S, I don't know. I write down. Without doing anything, just by writing this in exam is one mark. Understand? Don't need you to solve. Also one mark. Then the solving. Take out a calculator. Now everyone press together. 25 square, what do you get? 12 square, what do you get? 2 times 10? 10. This becomes a simple equation. Abhishek, what will you do? I will call until you have submit your homework. What will you do? Both sides will? Minus? Huh? No. Now, Abishi want to both side minus 20s. My answer is no need. Because the alphabet is here, the numbers, one is on left, one is on right. Combine the numbers together. So, both sides will? Minus? 144. Four. Some of you are getting uncomfortable. Teacher, my S is on the right hand side. Is it okay? Okay. No problem. Understand? Take our calculator now. Press. What is 625 minus 6144? Huh? <coughs> Jesse, what would you do now? I want to find 1S. Very good. Then you write S equals to and I don't care what is the answer. Now you notice I stopped writing both sides because I don't need already. Right? Because now I know I want to remove this both sides divided by 20. So I got S. Clear now? Right. So can I stop the video already? Can you try the rest yourself? Then I go through on Wednesday.